by checking the box to make sure there's no shipping damage. Open the outer box and remove the packing material from on top of the bike. Grab the parts accessory box and then lift the bike out of the box. Set the bike down and carefully check it for any shipping damage. Remove the remaining packing material from around the bike, taking care not to damage the frame or any wires or cables. Now you're ready to assemble your new bike. The parts accessory box includes these items. You will also need a pair of scissors or flat side cutters, plus a bike pump to add air to the tires if needed. To install the seat post with saddle, slide it into the seat tube. Secure the seat at the desired height by closing the quick release lever. Move the saddle down until it latches in place. Use the lever underneath the saddle to tilt it up and access the battery. To install the handlebars, first remove the protective shipping cap. Slide the handlebar stem into the front tube. Make sure the handlebars are oriented correctly, with the brake levers facing forward. Gently slide the handlebar stem into the front tube until it locks in place. Next, use a hex key to tighten the bolt at the top of the handlebar stem. To install the front wheel, first remove the wheel saver. Then remove the fork saver. Next, use a wrench and hex key to loosen and remove the bolt securing the headlight. With the electrical wires still attached, carefully move the headlight out of the way. Now remove the nuts and spacers from the front axle on both sides. Make sure the front fender is oriented towards the rear of the bike. Insert the wheel into the dropouts on the fork. Now replace the spacer on one side of the axle, making sure it hooks into the fork. Attach one side of the basket brace onto the axle before replacing the nut. Use the wrench to tighten this side. Then repeat the same steps on the other side. Again, finish by using the wrench to tighten the bolt. Next, attach the fender brace to the fork. With a washer in between, Thread the screw into the eyelet on the fork and tighten it with the hex key. Repeat this step on the other side. Again, using the hex key to secure the fender brace. Now you can fasten the front brake quick release. Don't forget to check this before riding. Replace the headlight using the bolt and washer you removed earlier. Make sure to first put the bolt through the bracket on the fender before mounting the headlight. Thread the nut on the other side of the fork and tighten it using the wrench. Then use the hex key to make sure the headlight bolt is secure. Do not over tighten.
locate the extra parts to attach the front basket. First, position the bracket under the basket brace as shown. Hold the bracket in place while you align the basket on top of it. This might be a little tricky. Use the screws to fasten the basket to the bracket. Now, use a screwdriver to tighten the screws while holding the bracket in place. Thread the nuts on the underside of the bracket. And carefully secure them with a the wrench. Locate the bolts nuts, and washers to secure the basket to the bracket on the head too. Insert the bolts from the front, then thread the nuts onto them from the other side of the bracket. Hand tighten these at first. Then use the hex key to fully tighten them. Ready to go? Just drop in the wicker basket. To install the pedals, locate both the left and right pedals. The letter L is stamped on the left pedal. The right pedal has the letter R. Attach the left pedal on the rider's left side of the bike and tighten counterclockwise. Use the wrench to tighten it fully. Then attach the right pedal on the rider's right side of the bike and tighten clockwise. Again, use the wrench to tighten it fully. To remove the battery, first unlock it with the key, then tilt the saddle up and grab the battery handle to lift it out. After recharging the battery, reverse these steps to put it back. Now is a good time to double check that all parts and bolts are secure on the bike. Also, be sure to check the tire pressure and add air to the tires if needed. Enjoy your ride L!